Guess what? You may already know this, you may not. Triceps make up three fourths of your overall arm size. The biceps get all the glory, man. They're, it's the popular muscle. It stands out a lot. It's one, it's the ball here, okay? Here's the thing though, when you're really wanting to grow your arms, you need to really focus on growing those triceps. The exercises I'm about to give you actually focus on both because you don't want to neglect your biceps. I just want you to emphasize putting a lot of work into those triceps. Here's the thing, three key tips. First thing you need to be doing is working arms more frequently. That's completely different from what most people do. A lot of people put a lot of effort into one workout a week, thinking that's enough stimulus to grow your arms. Here's the thing though, anytime you have a body part that you really want to prioritize, you need to add the frequency to it first. That's gonna be key number one, is doing it more often. So either twice a week or even three times a week. It just depends on how much time you can actually train. Second thing, you got your frequency, you also wanna add time under tension. So what that means is it's not all about lifting extremely heavy weight. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people assume that for bicep curls, you need to go as heavy as possible. Five reps, six reps, four reps to grow your biceps. And that's opposite of what you need to be doing. Same with your triceps. For triceps, I'm gonna be showing you some exercises that are mass building and shape building exercises. And here's the thing, you wanna do between 10 to 12 repetitions for each set of every exercise, even up to 15 reps for some of these exercises. That's going to give you optimal time under tension. It's gonna keep tension in the biceps when you're doing higher rep range. It's gonna give you tension that's optimal for your triceps when you're doing close grip bench presses, for instance, okay? But those are two things you really wanna focus on. The next thing is ramping up the intensity, man. When I'm talking intensity, I don't mean do a set, rest two minutes, do another set. I'm talking super setting, back-to-back -back exercises, no rest in between, tri-sets, back-to-back-to-back exercises with no rest in between. When you add that intensity to the frequency, you're increasing volume, which is key, and it's extremely important to do that if your primary goal is size, because that's what this is all about, hypertrophy training, not just strength training. All right, so now that you know all of the basics, basically what we're gonna do, let me get through these exercises first. For triceps, we're gonna do a mass builder, and that's gonna be close grip bench press. So close grip bench press, you'll see here with a barbell. Key point here is keeping your hands close and then rotating those elbows in so that they brush your body on the way down, okay? Main focus here is bending at the elbows as, a pin of just, as uh, opposed to just bringing the weight down from the shoulders. If you're doing a bench press, you're actually stretching the chest at the shoulders. The difference with this exercise is you're stretching the triceps by bending those elbows. Get a nice good stretch and then contract that weight back up to the top. Here's the thing, if you don't have access to a barbell and you can't do the close grip bench press with the barbell, you can also do a dumbbell close grip tricep press. The thing here is exactly the same. You wanna keep the dumbbells really close together and the key point is bringing those elbows in and brushing them down on the sides of your body and still focus on bending at the elbow as opposed to the shoulder, all right? So from the mass building exercise, you're gonna wanna do a deep stretch exercise. For this one, I like the overhead tricep extensions. You can use a dumbbell here for this. You can do double dumbbells or a heavy dumbbell across the middle. Basically get those elbows as close to your head as you can. Stretch the dumbbell all the way up, lift it all the way up, and then bring it down behind your head with a full stretch. You wanna do a full range of motion here. Allow that stretch to take you as deep as comfortably possible, and then contract that weight back up, man, all right? So next exercise for triceps is gonna be a tricep push down. I like the rope variation because it's easier on your elbows and your wrists. 
So you'll see me using a rope push down here. Key point again here is pin those elbows to your sides. You don't want the elbows to go forwards and back, forwards and back while you're doing this. You wanna lock them into your sides, keep a nice big stretch and a hard contraction at the bottom. Every time you're doing a contraction with all these exercises, take about two full seconds, thousand one, thousand two, before you start going back into the stretched position. All right, so these are three tricep exercises you're gonna be doing. The three bicep exercises you're gonna be doing, the first one I like is a dumbbell incline curl. I like to start with the dumbbell incline curls because you get a full stretch. Key point here is keeping those elbows back behind your body and then keep them fixed in that position. So when you raise the dumbbells up, you're not bringing your elbows forward. If you bring your elbows up forward, then you're actually gonna have your elbows directly under the weight, which is actually gonna help support the weight and take some of the tension off of the biceps. So all you have to do is keep those elbows behind your body. That's gonna keep the weight of the dumbbell and gravity constantly pulling down on those dumbbells which is gonna create more intensity in that muscle and more time under tension. All right, second exercise is 21s. You may have heard of 21s before, it's very popular. You can do it with a lot of body parts, but what we're gonna be doing this with is dumbbells. Dumbbell 21s, same thing here. You wanna keep your arms, your elbows pinned to your side. And basically all you wanna do, this is seven, 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 which is seven reps, seven reps, seven reps, which equals 21 total reps. So the way I like to set this up, I like to go all the way to the top, starting in that top position, and then halfway down, and then straight back up into a contraction. Halfway down, straight back up into another contraction. So you're gonna do seven reps there. Once you hit your seventh, then you're gonna bring the dumbbells down to the sides, all the way down, and then bring them halfway up, all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. So you're gonna be hitting seven reps in that bottom range of motion. After your seven reps here, you're gonna do seven full range of motion reps, all the way up, all the way down. Here's the key point. On the way down, don't drop the weights down. Allow the muscles to control the weight down. So go down slow and controlled. 21 reps is gonna give you a massive burn here, but it's gonna be a great exercise for you, okay? Next, we're gonna do a Tricon X exercise. And what we're doing here is a hammer grip style. I like the hammer grip because it actually helps work the long head, the long head of the biceps, the brachialis. That's actually gonna give you a wider looking bicep, that 3D look. So you're gonna be doing these. If you haven't done my Tricon sets before, you'll notice what I'm doing here, six total reps. Tricon X is always gonna be six reps. You're gonna do the first three explosive. Control the weight down, explode the weight up. Control the weight down, explode the weight up. You're gonna do that for the first three reps. The next three reps, you're gonna have 10 second isometric holds at the top of the position. All right, top to mid range. If your arms are parallel to the ground, that's okay. If they need to come up a little bit higher, that's okay as well, as long as you're keeping your elbows pinned to your side and not forward, because again, if you bring your elbows forward in this position, then you're gonna be resting those biceps slightly. You're removing some of the gravity from the movement. So just keep those elbows pinned to your side and either parallel your forearms to the ground, hold that for 10 seconds, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, 10 seconds, bring the weight down, allowing for a full stretch, back up to that same mid range or a little higher movement, 10 seconds. So you're gonna do three just like that, which is gonna equal six total reps, okay? So those are the exercises you're gonna be doing. Those are the ones that are going to really grow those arms, your triceps and your biceps. But here's the other technique I want you to focus on. If you're doing three workouts per week, even if you do two, you're gonna to wanna to alternate. But I'm gonna give you an example for three. You wanna do straight sets, meaning do your triceps, do one set, rest 60 seconds, second set, rest 60 seconds, and then your third set, and then move on to the next exercise, and then go through all the exercises in straight sets that way. The next time you do this workout, so say you do the first one on Monday, the second time you do it, you're gonna do it in a superset fashion. 
Superset meaning you're gonna do a tricep exercise. So let's go close grip bench press. You're gonna do your close grip bench press, put the weight down, and then you're gonna do a bicep exercise. So immediately with no rest in between, go into the incline dumbbell curl. Okay, so that's a super set. And then go back and do another set. So for one set of triceps, one set of biceps. Then second set of triceps, second set of biceps. Then third set of triceps, third set of biceps. Then you're gonna move on to the next grouping, the next set of exercises, another super set. So you started with your close grip, now you're gonna do your overhead tricep extensions. Immediately after your overhead tricep extensions, you're gonna do your bicep curls, okay? Your other bicep curls. So basically that's how the supersets are gonna go. That is the second workout in that week. The third workout in the week is gonna be a tricep, meaning you're gonna do all three tricep exercises back to back to back with no rest in between. All right, so you're gonna do that for the first set. You're gonna rest two minutes after the tricep. Then you're gonna go back to the top of the triceps again, do your second set. All three exercises, back to back to back, no rest. Rest two minutes and then do it again for your third set. Once you've completed your triceps, then you're gonna move back into your biceps and do a tricep for those as well. So these are going to burn. This is where the high volume, high blood flow comes in. The more blood you pull into those arms, the more lactic acid, the lactic acid is going to pull in growth hormone. So you're gonna get tremendous growth by doing this. Okay, so that's how you're gonna alternate these. First workout is standard straight sets. Second workout is going to be super sets. Third workout, you're gonna be doing triceps for everything. And you're gonna to wanna to do this for four to six weeks. Four to six weeks, here's the other key element to this. If you're trying to grow your arms, you need to eat. You need to eat, eat, eat in a caloric surplus, man. You wanna fuel the workouts and you wanna make sure you're having a ton of protein and carbs for recovery so you can grow, so you can recover from each workout. Last thing is make sure you're not doing these on back-to-back -back days. You need at least one day of rest in between. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, something like that. You can even do a Monday, a Wednesday, and a Saturday, just as long as you have at least one day of rest in between, and your arms are gonna be sore, don't worry about it. Don't get in that mindset, well, today's my second workout, my arms are still too sore, I must be overtraining. You're not gonna overtrain when you're doing this for the, sh the short term. That's why I'm saying this is a six to eight week program, but trust me, your arms are gonna blow up. So what I recommend, lastly, and I'll get off this video, make sure you measure your arms. Measure those arms, write down the measurements, and then don't touch the tape measure again until you're done with your fourth or your sixth week. It's up to you if you wanna do this for four weeks or six weeks. Say you're going six weeks after six weeks, take those measurements again, and I guarantee you, as long as you're doing the workouts the way I'm telling you to do them, and as long as you're eating in a caloric surplus, you're gonna have at least an inch added to those arms. But all right, man, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions at all about anything I talked about here, then comment below and let me know. Also, once again, man, if you can please help me grow my channel, share this video with some of your buddies, some of your family members, and I will truly appreciate it. That being said, that's all I got, man. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.